Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I just want to give you a quick overview of my new drill press and the accompanying XY table and vise. Um, I did another entry on this uh, just I think a week ago, so you may have already seen it before, but I um, wanted to mostly show you the setup I've got with the XY table and the vise. Um, I've got it set up actually on an old Diacro Notcher stand in the corner here, which works just fine. The only thing I have to sort of be wary of is that I've got it back to that corner there, and when I use, I'll show you in a second here, when I open the lid to change the uh, cables, it's a little tight on room, but uh, let's just jump right in. So as you can see, we're standing in front of the drill, and I've got an XY table, as you can see here, the gray piece, and I've actually got it mounted sort of sideways, and I've, I did that because um, the vise that I had is a 6-inch Wilton Camlock vise, and the 6 inches frankly just too big for this uh, size drill press and if I had rotated the vise uh, this way I lose the ability to uh, fit a lot of my workspace back and forth and accordingly it's simply just difficult to, to bolt the table uh, the vise down when the uh, T-slots are going uh, perpendicular to the direction they're going now so I found that the best way to just do this is um, to have my XY table mounted 90 degrees to what it normally would be. Um, so real quick, I just want to show you uh, why I have the XY table and uh, the cool thing about this type of vise. Here's a part which I'm working on for something else which I uh, just subscribed two uh, points on which might be hard to see. Um, normally I would, I would center punch these before uh, putting them in the drill press to center drill, but um, just you know, simply for, for, for illustrative purposes here, I wanted to show you. Um, the cool thing about this cam lock vise is it's got the uh, two ridges. Let me zoom up. It's got the two uh, ridges here, which allow you to place a part in, in in it. It's level. It's got clearance for your drill to extend through, and then you just you know don't. Need, it's not even really a snug. You just bring it up, and then what you do is simply lock down this piece. And I forget the uh, I forget the actual numbers, but I want to say there's like a thousand foot-pounds per square inch or something of, of energy on this. It's, a, it's plenty, especially for a drilling motion. So that allows you to uh, secure your part down. Obviously, the advantage over a screw vise is that you can move from small parts to large parts quite easily. All right, now that i got my part chucked up, the cool thing about the XY table is that I can take my drill press, hold it down, and then use the XY table to simply move over so I've got my part centered. Actually, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, so what I can do is get it pretty close and then bring my drill tip down and then index on over. Now obviously, a couple points. One is that while this can actually be pretty precise, um, it is you know not as precise as some other methods one of which would be center drill, center punching the part and then using a uh, center finder to actually insert it into the, uh, into the hole and then centering the XY table until you felt no uh, slippage over the piece there. That's probably the most accurate way. For this piece and frankly for a lot of the things that I do, um, that level of precision simply isn't necessary. The other thing I wanted to mention is that although the XY table is a uh, is demarcated on the screws to travel distances, I actually don't use that. So for instance, if I wanted to drill an, another a hole one inch over, I wouldn't rely on the, uh, th on the uh, marks on the lead screw, but I would simply index over and eyeball it. Um, there's a lot of backlash in these. I don't trust them. And then just most importantly is, is the fact that there just simply isn't enough rigidity in this to rely on it. Even with this piece locked down, there's a fair amount of movement in the table and in the head as well. Um, that obviously is you know, compounded if you're actually drilling or moving forces around and sometimes you'll find that you have to loosen up your table or something to uh, change bits or basically anytime you loosen the um, table here to move it up and down, you're going to really lose a, a true Z axis. All right, just to finish up, I just want to give you a quick shot here of the uh, Vice Wilton uh, Model 1206. Um, the side view of the drill press, uh, one quick tip I found is that um, especially if you've got 
a, uh, some equipment on top of your drill press table, whether it's a vise or a vise and an XY table, um, you'll usually not be finding yourself having the table you know, up high, but you may actually want it down low, especially if you're using a tap guide. So if you happen to buy or use one of these drills, um, put the in the um, the uh, pin, uh, rack and pinion has a longer uh, area, stub area, on one side than the other. Put the shorter one on the bottom, which will allow you to bring the table all the way down to the bottom. Um, this this particular vice, or excuse me, drill has 16 speeds. As you can see, the gears right there. They're quite easy to change. They're all published on the side. And then lastly, just wanted to show you that for some parts, um, especially smaller parts, for instance, if I were working a really small part that were, say, only about as large as could fit in there, you know, for instance, a part like this where you really wouldn't want to, uh, you know, you wouldn't want the part to actually just, just be in the vise because it's, uh, it's too small and you might uh, run your drill bit into your sidewalls or your vise. What I do is just simply put in a small machinist or toolmaker's vise, set that inside my table, lock that down, and then I can use my XY table and bring it over. And obviously I've got plenty of clearance in there. The only trick is you obviously want to make sure that you keep your part perpendicular to the drill press. Um, and that's, that's it, folks. The only thing I think I would uh, like to pick up sometime in the coming months might be a, a better chuck, perhaps a, a keyless chuck or something like an Albrecht. But um, you know, plenty happy and the vice was a, a treat so um, this is certainly more than functional and more than sufficient to do some pretty cool stuff. That's all folks. Thanks.